Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2022. And this time we are on the West Highland line, and uh, this is the extension line. And uh, we have this very nice AP, Armstrong Powerhouse, Class 156 here, which is a really, really nice model. And it is in the first Scott Rail livery from about 2004. This is the uh, sort of original Scott Rail livery and it looks really, really nice and retro, which is cool. And uh, we're doing a service today, which is from Malig to Fort William. And uh, I believe this is quite a common service. Um, obviously, the scenario is set normally with the... Uh, the class 37's pulling but we've got the 156 with us and uh, I believe that the 156's do the modern services just gotta say before we start look at this this is looking really good I remember parking in that car park just over there <laughs> and uh, yeah we've got the 37's on the line um, I'm not sure if the 37s run all the time. I know that this section of the line is the Jacobite line, which goes over the, the Glenvinian Viaduct, which is the Harry Potter bridge, by the way. Um, and I know that the steam train, uh, the Jacobite, runs along here, but I have seen passenger services running. So I don't know if this 37 is a special, special one or not. But uh, we can get the doors open and uh, start getting people on. This over here is the heritage center. And then that is the train station back there. Quite a nice little like Scottish town really. Malig, it's quite good. Right, let's jump in and uh, <laughs> get get us uh, set up. Okay. Um, we can do the blinds actually on this. Um, if I remember, we're gonna need one Fort William on here. There it is. Awesome. And uh, this being an AP model, it is uh, it has got a lot to it, which is great. We can actually do the clag factor, which we're going to make it really, really claggy. Even though these aren't, aren't that bad, the exhaust is in the middle there, but these aren't actually that bad. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really nice nice thing this uh, we're gonna need headlights um, compressor speed up switch okay um, we can put the DRA on which is nice I think does it have I think it will have power once we turn on there we go Awesome, awesome. I'm loving the shadows in this thing. It's looking really, really good. But uh, yeah, we can basically get going. Fort William is, uh, if I, oh, there we go, it's 41 miles away, which is quite a long way away, to be honest. Um, so we're gonna get going then. Can release the brakes. I don't think there's anything else more we can set up on here. Oh, we can do the uh, the radio. I'm not sure how to select the channel. I'd have to read the manual. Uh, there we go. The uh, DSD, I think it was, that we had to do. Um, and this has got the very nice system for sending and receiving the tickets on the uh, uh, on the uh, line. It's cool. Yeah, Armstrong Powerhouse stuff just has a certain feel about it. We 
can see the clan coming out of the top there. It's really, really nice models. Yeah, this 156 is looking really good in this first Scott Rail livery. This is sort of the livery that they used um, sort of 2004-ish. Um, and I'm not sure if these would have run on the line, on this particular line in, in that era, but we're gonna we're gonna use it anyway. This being a single line, it is a. Uh, we can turn this off actually. There's not much to look out out of this. Um, you know, the windows aren't aren't that great in this thing. Looking really good though. This line is something special to be fair. These sounds are really good from this. You'd get some really nice screenshots. Now, like I say, yeah, uh, uh, the Jacobite normally runs along here, the Jacobite Express, which is a steam driven passenger service. And I, it, it's basically trying to be like the Harry Potter train, essentially. And because uh, it does go over the Glen Finian Viaduct, which we will pass over. But like I say, passenger services do run along here, and I believe they do use the 156 or the Sprinters. I can't remember which one it is. But as we have this really nice AP 156 with this livery as well, I thought we might as well do like a sort of mid 2000s sort of scenario we are on a quick drive at the moment oof that sound I thought we would do sort of like a quick drive with this very nice logo it is an absolute treat to have this If you do want to pick something like this up, you can go to Armstrong Powerhouse. Almost missed that. You can go to Armstrong Powerhouse and pick this up for yourselves. And uh, as we come down here, hopefully it should go to this 40. Now it is a single line, so obviously other locos do have to sort of wait a long time before they can move out I can't get enough of the AP stuff um, Song Powerhouse doesn't know how to make a really really good logo I believe this is one of their own um, it's not one they've enhanced from Dovetail. But it is super, super nice. You do get quite a lot with it. Livery wise and features. And uh, we're going to be stopping here. small little platforms we might overshoot it actually if I'm not careful Ooh, we're just in that was lucky cars waiting 
I'm hoping we get a buzzer from the guard. The uncouple cover. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed, this. We've even got this Scottish um, signal system with uh, where you send and receive. The 37 has that. There we go, there's the guard. Okay, we're coming up to our next stop along this journey. It's about a stop per 10 miles, so uh, Fort William's about that way, but it's about 34 now, so we, we were on about 40 mile from the last station. So it's about every 10 mile there's a, there's a stop. We're going to speed coming down here for sure. been enjoying the scenery down to this bit it is just really really good even though it's pretty basic stuff um, there's like not a lot of grass and it's it's just shapes it is still quite quite a nice uh, bit of scenery And this will be the cross point here. So uh, he'll be able to go up to Malig now when I come into here. Vice versa, I'll be able to head forwards. sound stop in there with the brakes that was really cool <laughs> Scott rail coaches Scott dog coaches on this doesn't it is the West Highland Scott rail I think they're mark are they mark ones I think they might be mark ones on this 37 he'll be doing the normal service but we're doing sort of like a modern service on ours. And he should be allowed to go, to be honest. That'll be us. I believe we'll be allowed to go here. I'm not sure if the flashing light means we should stop. Find out as we get closer, I suppose. little station though I think if it's flashing we can go that guy's got a solid light so he probably can't go but I'm not really too sure about sort of these signals I've never really encountered these before Token. 
we can't actually do that because it doesn't actually work on this we're just going to press on it'd be nice if this actually worked um, and you could receive and send when we reach this day I'm going to punch it and we'll see that clag Oof. that is immersion that is great really really good stuff climb up into the highlands. I think doing this journey in a AP37 would be really nice. You know, with the clag factor. AP37 um, enhancement pack. I do have it. I think doing this route would be really good because you do have to go full power on the uphills. And I think just seeing all that diesel clag coming out the top of a 37 would be really nice. It's only a small platform, this one. I just I, I love the horn on this thing. It's it's so they've done such a good job with it. Try and get us on the platform. This would be a small little local. Small little local platform, just big enough for a two car. By the looks of things, yeah, just big enough for a two car. Very quaint little place. Very nice. We'll get it leaving as well in a sec. I haven't really used the uh, DRA, to be honest, on this one. There's the doors closing. There we go. We can actually buzz the guard to tell him we're good. And again, it's only a small station, so we only get a two-car unit on here. I believe that's all they ran on here anyway. And to this very day, uh, the small passenger services, because it is only a small line and it's sort of a local service, really. If anything else, tourists going from Fort William to Malig and then locals getting the, the train. They only need a two car anyway. Yeah, fully enjoyable following the road down the highlands here. We can have that on as well. Love, I always love the texturing in these Armstrong Powerhouse ones. You know, this desk it just looks it just looks used and abused.
try and get that clag coming up the top. If I notch seven. Oof. <laughs> that engine working hard. I love how it remains as well. So good. Ah, there's the viaduct down there on the little mini map so uh, we will get uh, yeah there is a double line here and we need to really slow down because we are coming in hot <laughs> another 37 waiting Excellent. I assume we see this guy leave, but maybe not. And the viaduct will just be down there at the end of this lock. Down there. How far is Fort William now. 16 miles, so not too far now. I'm fully, fully enjoying this this 156. Thank you, guard. I think we'll have to notch it up quite quite a lot to get it moving. We haven't received a ticket, but we're kinda we're kind of just going for it, we kind of have to. Okay, it seems that this line splits off. Oh, that's just a siding. Still a single line, all those things. We're so close to this viaduct. <laughs> The Harry Potter Bridge, everybody knows. Yeah, this is looking very familiar to me. Down here. There it is. And we're going to go um, set ourselves up on the other side of it. Okay, we've got a, another stop, and I believe this is the final stop before Fort William, because Fort William is 11 miles away. So uh, this will probably be the one before it. And again, yeah, it's been really, really enjoyable, this route. Going over the uh, Glenfinian Viaduct was really, really nice. And just using this spectacular... 
156 from Armstrong Powerhouse in this Scott Rail livery. First Scott Rail livery. This is a really enjoyable, enjoyable loco. Sounds great, looks great. And the, the feel of the controls is really great as well. But uh, I want, as soon as I saw that I could use this uh, this first Scott Rao livery that it comes with, I, I instantly knew I had to do this journey. I wanted to do this um, this route for a while, but just couldn't find the right loco to do it with. Mainly from a historical point of view and a uh, you know a practical point of view. I want to make it good, you know, as well. I don't want to just use any old random uh, dovetail, you know, DMU. I wanted it to be something special, and uh, this Armstrong Powerhouse one has made it made it good. Really, really enjoyed it. We're going to need to break quite a lot here, I think. Luckily, this thing can break literally on a dime, so uh, it's not too bad. One, one lonely villager looking to get on. One lonely local. Let's get him on. Yeah, Fort William's about 10 mile away now. Been quite a long journey to be fair. This West Highland line, um, some of the scenarios that you get with it are like 120 minutes long, and you can see why it is a big, big route to be fair. Covering lots of distance. I mean, this is a you know, quite a modern loco. You know, you, you put this, uh, you put this into notch seven, it's gonna pull like an absolute tank, but uh. Doing it with the 37 ink that's included. It'll be interesting and quite annoying at the same time. But no, I've enjoyed doing it with the four with the 156. Definitely looking to do more sort of custom scenarios. If you didn't see the last one that I did on the quick drive, I did the cross city line. Um with a 117, class 117, and sort of took it back to the 1980s. Took the cross city line back to the one to the 1980s when the 177, uh, sorry, the 117s would have been on that route in the BR white and blue stripe. So if you haven't seen that video, it is down on the channel. It's definitely worth a watch. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do custom scenarios for a while and they're not really custom it's just sort of quick drives but you know we're sort of making up our own little scenario our own little. we have got a, another small little platform coming up which we will stop at I wanted to do an all stops service along here so we will stop at it this one looks quite small though probably only get yeah, about one car on it maybe Still quite a ways off, it's about a mile out. But Fort William is uh, drawing closer and closer. breaking in a sec. This might be another passing point. I'm not too sure. 
just seen the ticket signal. But not really seen um, any of the other sort of services. Obviously, we wouldn't see them running on the line because uh, it is a single track line. But uh, it's a shame we don't get to see them pull off when we reach the station. This one's going to be a. It's going to be close. It is a really small platform, however. Only get the front on. There's a few people. Maybe the villagers that live here get the train in and out. I really like that we could do the uh, the blinds on this. It's a really good addition. Sometimes you don't get to actually. Uh, sometimes you don't get to do the blinds because sometimes it's not programmed into the actual, you know, loco itself. That's what I like about Armstrong Powerhouse stuff is they actually take the time to. Uh, to you know put stuff like small details like that in just having to just having the correct blinds for this route and this loco makes a huge difference if it's not supported it's sort of like I have to put it to special service or something like I had to with the Birmingham Cross City uh, one video last time I had to put the blinds to basically special because I couldn't put it to the correct blind just being able to makes a huge difference I'm not sure if you're supposed to power it off completely here or if you're supposed to keep it on like notch one or two just to keep the RPMs up not entirely sure but five miles to Fort William not far now. And I think this is the end of the line actually. We're coming to the depot here, it's 37 there. Some wagons. This is probably the most built up area of the line to be honest. Fort William is the end of the line. I think it's. I think uh, Fort William and Malig are like the two ends of the line. You know, it, it's it goes from one to the other. And as you can see, it's quite built up now, actually. So we come into Fort William here. It's quite a big hub, actually, Fort William. For what it is, the line, you know, it's not only going to get, it's only really going to get um, tourists and locals on it. But it is still quite a big line. And we have used the amazing AP Armstrong Powerhouse 156 in uh, first Scott Rail livery. It's looking really, really nice. This was sort of the livery they carried in the 2000s, early 2000s, like 2004, I think this livery was. We have a yellow. And yeah, just a really, really enjoyable loco, this one. If you haven't already picked up Armstrong Powerhouse, you know, enhancement packs or their own stuff, definitely, definitely go and pick some up because... Uh, it will change the sim forever for you it has for me and uh, yeah we were on the West Highland line extension DLC 
and we did a journey from Malig to Fort William here which is quite a distance it is like 40 mile it's quite a distance but enjoyable really really enjoyable definitely worth it if you're looking for something to do in an afternoon now I wanted to sort of do sort of a semi-historical um, route and I believe that these passenger routes with the 156 did occur on this so uh, it's fairly historical but yeah that was that was the journey and we are here at Fort William so if you enjoyed i'd appreciate a like and a subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.